at this point, we have created our bundles and we've created assets. Now let's look at creating a button to embed these assets into the editor. And the way we do that is by using entity embed. So before we can configure the button, let's enable the module. So go to extend and search for entity embed. and enable the module. Now go to configuration and then click on text editor embed buttons. And by default, the module gives us a button to embed nodes. But for us, we want to embed media assets. So click on add embed button and let's call this media and then select entity from embed type and then from entity type, select media and keep all of this unchecked so that it's all available and make sure you upload a custom button icon and I'll show you why this is important. So let me just add this icon and I'll click on save. So if you don't supply an icon, it'll use the default E and this can be a problem if you have multiple buttons on your text editor because it can be confusing which button is it and that's why it's always important to have a custom icon. Now that we have created our button, let's add it to the text format. So click on configuration, text formats and editors and I will add this button to the basic HTML text format. So click on configure and here you can see our custom button which we just created. So click on that. So, so let's just drag it to the media section and scroll down and click on save configuration. All right, let's go back in. So there are a few things we have to configure here. First, you have to make sure that Drupal dash entity has been added to the allowed HTML tags. This is important. If you don't do this, Drupal will clear out any custom tag added in by entity embed. So this is the first important thing. The next important step is to make sure you enable display embedded entities. Let's just click on save configuration. And the reason why I did that is because when you click on display embedded entities, it orders it right at the bottom. But in fact, we want it second from the top. The next thing you have to make sure is that if you are using aligned images and caption images, make sure caption images is after aligned images. And the last thing we need to do is we need to disable the restrict images to this site because of a bug with Drupal core. If you use this filter, then you won't be able to embed an image and select a different image style. Drupal will think it's being hosted from a remote site and then uh, this filter will kick in and stop the image from being rendered. So make sure all of your filters are in this particular order. Make sure you have display embedded entities switched on and make sure you see this Drupal entity string in allowed HTML entities and then click on save configuration. Okay, so now that we have configured our button, let's embed an asset. So I'll go to content and I will edit this test article, which I created earlier. And if I click on this button, you'll see that we get this autocomplete field. And I do know that the name is Drupal icon. And if I select thumbnail, I can pick a different image style. So let's select medium, I will align it to the right and I'll put in just caption. And you can see our asset has been rendered with the caption and also aligned to the right. So let's click on save and keep published. And here is our image. You can also use the quick edit. So if I was to remove this, so let me just remove it. And then I click on the icon and I'll search for Drupal icon. And let's select thumbnail and I'll select center and type in caption. Our image has been embedded and we can easily save it.